Today, the Mercury Marine destination takes us to the Land O'Lakes area in eastern Ontario. Bass are the target today, but extremely clear waters can make it tricky when the fish can see so clearly. Sensitive rods and drop shot rigs are the method of approach today, but not the traditional vertical presentation. In these conditions, the bass are a little spooky and casting away proves to be so much more effective. When you have eyes under the water and off to the sides, fish holding structure is so much easier to target. Small hooks and lifelike temptations are just too much for them to resist. Smallmouth bass on drop shot rigs this week on Fishful Thinking. Fishful Thinking is brought to you by Mercury Marine, Crestliner Boats, Minkota Trolling Motors, and Ram Trucks built to serve. Water conditions are brought to you by Hummingbird Fish Finders. Get the big picture. Even small waters can blow up fast, but you can be more comfortable. Smooth out your ride with Smooth Moves shock absorbing seat suspensions. Feels like a decent little fish. You know, I love drop shotting. And it, it, there's more to drop shotting than just to always there's a fish on the bottom, drop it down, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. It works great that way when the water is, I'll say, fairly deep. Drop shotting works great straight under the boat, but the clearer the water, the more important it is to get away from the boat. Now, we got some depth here, and these fish are down 24, 25 in this clear water. I can catch a few of these straight down from under the boat, but everyone thinks when you drop shot, it's gotta be straight down vertical. That works great, especially when the water's a little murky, but you can actually cast drop shot rigs out and work them around and work them away from the boat, especially in this clear, clear, clear water. You stay down, buddy boy. I'm using a beautiful action Daiwa Tatula Elite Rod. It's meant for drop shotting. Little Daiwa LT reel, silky smooth drag, but 15 pound test Seaguar Smackdown. It's very thin, and with a double uni knot, I've got a long leader of 10 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon above my hook, and then my drop shot weight, but oh, that's a nice fish. The, um, the drop shot hook itself is a must add, no twist. So I don't have to worry about a polymer knot, I can just tie to the little swivel, tie my drop shot line to the little swivel. There you are, buddy. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Oh, what did I do? I lose my reel. There you are, buddy boy. Nice little fish, so much fun. It's not always under the boat. You can actually use this clear water to your advantage. Get away from the boat. The fish know the boat's there. Real nice little bass. Put you back. Gone in a blink. But this is what I was saying. Beautiful action Daiwa Tattoo Rod. Very flexible. You're using small hooks, light line. Little LT reel, very, very thin. You probably can't even see that 15 pound test smack down. But you probably, where's my knot? There's my little double uni knot on my line. So from here all the way down to here is 10 pound test fluorocarbon. That's my little Mustad no twist drop shot hook. It's got a little ball bearing swivel on one end or a barrel swivel and a little loop on the other end to tie my drop, my dropper line and my weight. Now you wanna make sure it just doesn't plummet to the bottom. I use as light a weight as I can get away with because as this is dropping, my little drop shot bait is just fluttering down nicely. And it's these little set the hook, 
crush worms that I've just been killing, okay, crushing them with. <laughs> I've absolutely just been annihilating the bass. Little ones love it, the good ones love it. And you will go through lots of them because they're nice and soft and the fish just hold on to them. Very scented. And the way I'm hooking that is just through the very tip of the nose. It gives it all kinds of action. And instead of just dropping it vertical straight down, what I'm doing is, you know, I'll get back into my spots along the edge. I've got my Minn Kota side imaging here. This Minn Kota Altera has side imaging on it. It's got down imaging, it's got all your GPS and regular fish finding abilities, but it's also got side imaging on it. So I can go along an edge and see branches and trees sticking out, extra boulders. So when I get back into my spot, you know, instead of, you know, regular drop shot is straight down. You let it sink to the bottom and you just very slowly twitch, 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 twitch and tease the fish. And that works great in most situations, but in this really gin clear water, these fish know the boats here. I'm actually getting into my spots and I'm actually pitching this out. I'm letting it sink down. Sometimes that line just stops and the fish grabs that and eats it on the way down. But as I get into where I want to be with this, I let it get down to the bottom. I just tighten up the line and I just twitch, twitch, reel up a little bit, twitch, twitch, twitch. You're almost jigging it back to the boat. And you can let it sink, make sure you're on the bottom all the time. Twitch, twitch. And you can work the area. And I, I can't emphasize enough in these areas that I can see bottom in 20 feet of water, especially with a good pair of glasses like these Revos on. I'm cutting all my glare. I can see everything down there. And if I can see bottom, that fish surely sees this boat. So I want to make sure I'm away. All right, let me get back into my spot and see what else I can do. Like I said, I've got seven, eight pounders. I got a dozen smaller than pounders. You'll get everything in these drop shot rigs. Walleye, pike, bass after bass. But uh, it's just fun. Closed captioning is brought to you by Mercury. Power and dependability you can count on. My Ram is an incredible tow vehicle. Tremendous torque and horsepower. I have a backup camera. I've got this huge screen where I can see everything clearly. I even have surround view cameras. And it even has adjustable trailer heights. Now, keeping your trailer level and with the proper tongue weight is extremely important. If you don't have features on your vehicle where it automatically adjusts, just make sure you have the proper receiver to adjust that to keep that perfectly level. It's extremely important. If you're in situations where you need to avoid an accident or break heavily, if your trailer's angled up or down, it's gonna interfere with your driving and your controlling ability. And to me, even more importantly, is the tongue weight. I've seen trailers fishtailing on the highway. I actually witnessed an accident once because the guy could not recover from it once it starts. You've got the motor on the back of the boat adding weight, depending where your gear is and the gas tank, it can be completely off balance. You need tongue weight. My rule of thumb, for every foot of boat, I want 10 pounds of tongue weight on this. So 20 foot boat, 200 pounds of tongue weight. That absolutely stops that boat from losing control with the weight being off balance. Sometimes it's as simple as moving your spare tire or some of the gear you have in your boat to adjust. And actually one of the easiest ways of checking your tongue weight, take a good old bathroom scale, put it on something flat, jack up your trailer until it's just coming off the ball and you'll see exactly what kind of tongue weight you have. Make no mistake about it, keep that trailer level, 
and the proper tongue weight and trail ring's gonna be a whole lot easier. Conditions today are brought to you by Revo Sunglasses. See what others don't. Geez, I thought you followed that. I got whacked a few times and he came, oh, that's a decent fish. He ended up actually taking that directly beside the boat, but I lured him in. <laughs> oh. This 1850 Crestliner has such a beautiful casting deck. Lots of room. It's an 1850 Pro Tiller. I've got a rod locker in here that'll hold up to 10 rods. 90 horsepower Mercury Tiller on the back. I've got my Minn Kota Altera in the front, my Talon. This is my smaller lakes boat and it's just rigged beautifully i love this boat handles mid-sized lakes and small lakes beautiful and on a roller trailer i can get this in anywhere come on buddy it's only light line i got to be careful but it's a very thin little hook and uh you can you can over pressure these fish that's a nice fish Come up, come up, come. Right Ooh, I missed you. Thought I could catch you. There we are. <laughs> Drop shotting works beautifully. It's so much fun. You catch piles of small fish and you catch these guys along with it. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Watch this guy go. Zoop. Yeah, well, look at this. With these Revo glasses, I'm watching them go right to the bottom. So, like I said, I'm in, I've drifted out to almost 29 feet of water here and I can actually see the bottom here. But after every fish, again, this is light line, light leaders. This is Seaguar fluorocarbon I'm using. It's not monofilament. Now, Seaguar has, even though that Seaguar looks like monofilament, out of the water, it looks like monofilament. In the water, it has the same refraction, almost the same refraction index as water. So when this goes in the water, it basically turns to water. So it's an invisible approach. But you never know what they're rubbing you on down there. Check for frays on both sides because I don't want to bust all my my drop shot weight's off either. That's good to go. Hook's not bent out. Sticky sharp good old mustad. And these good old set the hook plastics. So soft, so scented, and so effective. These things are amazing. I see why the fish won't let go of them. They're just gummy soft. <laughs> Oh, all right, drift it away. Let me get back in there. so much fun. It really is. Oh, might be another decent one. Yeah, oh, you get so many fish doing this. Numbers and numbers and numbers and good fish. If you've never tried drop drop shotting, you have to try it, especially, especially with these set the hook plastics. Okay, I'm going to put myself on spot lock. This Minn Kota. I hit spot lock and it's an anchor. It's just gonna hold me in the one spot. So I'm getting a little tight to shore. It's going to adjust itself as you see right there and, and click, uh, click into a GPS coordinate. So I don't have to worry about going to shore here. And I can concentrate on this nice little bass. 
And up you come. Do I want you to jump? I don't know if I do want you to jump. Put the rod tip down and keep him down. You change the direction and they'll change their mind sometimes. Oh, I didn't extend this net. You're in. <laughs> Beauty. And you can see with this Minn Kota, the spot lock I've got on. Geez, there's another fish in the bottom here too. Another dandy. Looks like it from that mark. I don't have to worry about anything right now. I'm, uh, that's gonna hold me exactly in that spot. And it's like having somebody else in the boat with me. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Look at that guy. I'm telling you, drop shotting, it's so much fun, especially when you're using the plastics that are so soft and so scented. These things are awesome. Nice, 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 nice. And, boom. Wow, oh, it's getting hot out here. All right, rig up, and back I go. Everything's checked, no frays, that's all nice. And the other thing too, if you do notice, with monofilament or even fluorocarbon that you start getting a little bit of spirals or corkscrewing in the line or kinks. When you give it a stretch, it just goes perfectly straight again. Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm on fish again. guy's been out four times already. It's a nice fish. Come on. Stay down. I don't want you up again. Boy, it sure got warm. It got windy. It got warm. I got my spot lock on, thank goodness, because it got so windy. There you are. Whew. Got warm, it got windy. Just remember, that spot lock is turning. Look at that horse of a smallmouth. Little light hooks, I'm taking my time with them. And again, the spot lock in this Minn Kota, it's like having somebody else in the boat with me. I don't have to worry about it. Wow, this Daiwa LT reel is so smooth. Yeah, thank goodness for zipper pants too. I was starting to roast. Wind's picked up and did it ever get hot? Oh. <laughs> This is a beautiful fish. Like I said before, it's not only numbers. Oh, my weight's gone. It's fish like that. <laughs> Daiwa LT reel, silky smooth drag when you're using a light line. Sensitive rod like this Daiwa Tatula Elite and lots of fun. Fishful Thinking is brought to you by Crestliner Boats, Mercury Marine, Seaguar 100% Fluorocarbon, and Ram Trucks, 
built to serve. Tackle today, Seaguar Smackdown 8-strand braided lines. Must add no twist drop shot hooks. Salted and scented Stumpy Crush Worms by Set the Hook. Daiwa Tatula Elite drop shot rods with AGS air guide system. Seaguar Blue Label 100% fluorocarbon leader material. Daiwa LT spinning reels with mag sealed construction. Minkota Altera power stow and deploy with side imaging transducer. Humminbird fish finders with GPS down and side imaging. 100% protection from UV, AB and C light with Revo sunglasses. Smooth move shock absorbing boat seat suspensions. With built in rod locker, the 1850 Crestliner Pro Tiller and the 90 horsepower Mercury Outboard with big tiller handle. There, there he is, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming up, coming in the net. <laughs> silly, silly fun. That's got some meat. Look at that, the hook just fell out. That's got some meat. <laughs> Holy moly, man. <laughs>